We've got a really easy networking plan that anyone, and that means you, can use to build their own professional network. It's mind-blowingly simple and anyone can execute it from the comfort of their own home or their office. If you think building a professional network sounds like something that other people do, people who have high-flying careers, people who make a lot of money, not something that an average manager or supervisor does, you are 100% wrong. If you think networking is complicated and gut-wrenching because you have to talk to people you don't know, again, you're 100% wrong. So stick around while I show you how, and I guarantee anyone, including you, can take the first steps without breaking a sweat. Follow these steps and you'll become well-known in your industry. And before you know it, people will be seeking you out and you won't have to worry about networking because A, it will be second nature to you and B, others will seek you out. So they'll be doing all the heavy lifting, if you will. Now, the tips that we're about to share will work on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and I suspect TikTok and Reddit or whatever other social media sites you use and you post on. I don't post on the others, so I can't 100% say they will, but I'm pretty sure they will. Okay, so let's get started. And by the way, when we're talking about this stuff, we're talking about your professional life, not your personal life on Facebook. Okay, so step number one, don't be an online stalker. Nobody will know who you are. So what you need to do when you're on these different groups and these different forums is not just read them and enjoy them, but participate. Even if the only thing you do is give them a thumbs up, you can start right now if you want, if you're logged into a YouTube or Gmail account by hitting that like button on YouTube if that's where you're watching. And YouTube, by the way, has a fun little reward for you if you do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You just got to hit the like button to see it. Okay, so that's the first step. Anyone can do this. It doesn't take any nerve. And I challenge everyone who's watching or listening to give at least 10 likes or thumbs up on whatever professional social media site you participate. Now, on some of those, your profile will appear as a supporter. So make sure you have a picture up there and a current picture so people can recognize you. And I believe it's only LinkedIn who will actually show who gave the thumbs up, but it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so next step, you want to dip your toe, if you will, in the networking water. How are you going to do this from the comfort of your own home, so to speak? You want to comment on posts that you see, posts that you like, posts that you enjoy. Now, you don't have anything to say, you say? Well, try saying something like, I agree. Well said. I couldn't have said it better myself. Something like that. Again, not much effort, and in all likelihood, the person who you put the comment on will respond, even if it's just something to say thanks, okay? So you are already starting getting recognized just by putting these little comments on, and you're also starting a networking conversation, okay? And all you've done is post things like, I agree, don't put I don't agree, things of that nature, okay? Step number three in my easy networking plan, dip your toe in the networking waters. You want to comment on the posts that you see, but you want to add to the conversation. So as I said, your comment should be positive rather than negative, and it will be appreciated. If you have something to add that's really good, you might say something like, well, did you ever think about this? Or what about that? Or you might even expand on one of the points, or if somebody made a point, you could give an example if it happens to you. Now, your comments and your thumbs up are really, really appreciated by the people whose posts you're putting them on. Why? Because these social media sites take your comments, your shares, your likes as signals that this content that was produced is good and is of interest to a lot of their members, and they will promote and send it to more people. So the more comments, the more thumbs up, the more like, you will get wider distribution. So people whose posts you do this on will really appreciate it. Now, once you've started doing this and you've started posting on different people's sites, especially if you post on a person's site over and over again, or even if you just give them a thumbs up, you want to start connecting. 
And how you do this is you just send a simple invitation. So on LinkedIn, anyway, you just send an invitation on LinkedIn, on some of the other sites you follow, or you become a subscriber, whatever, but you start connecting. And you can send these invitations. You can say something like, you know, I saw the post that you put on about such and such and such and such, and I thought I'd like to connect with you. If you go to a live event, you want to send an invitation to everyone that you meet there. If they put something up, you commented, they responded, you commented back, and you went back and forth several times, definitely send them an invitation. And when you're connected, it doesn't mean that they'll necessarily see all your posts, but they will see some of them. And then depending upon the market reaction, if you will, or the community's reaction, will depend upon how many more the post gift puts out to. So participate. Now, all these things that I've told you so far, pretty simple to do. They're not nerve wracking. They don't take a lot of effort, but we're going to get to some things that now maybe will up your game, if you will. And before I share how to take your networking efforts to the next level, if you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. And if you love to please subscribe, we produce new content for the channel three times a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are devoted to payment and accounts payable issues, and Saturdays are reserved for Wordle. And remember, your thumbs up and your comments um, help us as they take it as a sign to YouTube to distribute this content to more viewers. Let us know in the comments below if you like that little dance that the like button does when you hit it. I'm interested to see what you think. All right. So what's your next step? Your next step, and again, these are pretty simple to do. You can do them from home and they're really not very stressful. You wanna start sharing other people's stuff. So when you see something on one of the social media sites, especially LinkedIn, but if you see it on any of the others, in addition to liking it, commenting, you can now, most of them have a share button and you can hit the share button. And of course, don't forget to give it a like before you do it. This will do several things for you. The original poster will appreciate it. You'll start to position yourself as a thoughtful innovator because when you share, especially when you share with a comment, your little avatar goes on there. And that's why I'm telling you to use your picture, okay? And even if you just copy the link and send it in an email to some of your colleagues, as opposed to using that share button, they'll appreciate it as long as you don't do it too often. You know, people don't like to be inundated with, oh, read this article, listen to this video. But if you do it, you know, once a week or once a month, then it's appreciated and it looks like you're giving some thought to what you are sending. Okay, now here comes the part where you're really going to up your game. Post something of your own. And you might say, well, I don't know what to write about. I'm going to give you a few suggestions. So if you've gone to a conference you've attended a webinar, or you've seen a video like this, you might post a little bit about it. And so you might just write a short thing. I heard this tip at ABC conference, John Jones or Mary Smith said that if you whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Now, when you do that, when you post this, especially probably going to post it on LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you put an at sign in front of the person's name. And that will do several things for you. First of all, if they are on that platform, it will alert them that somebody put something up about them and they'll probably come and look at what you posted and, you know, give you a thumbs up or say thank you. And again, this will help get your content now shared. They may also share it with their network. Okay. So in all these things, you're expanding your network. You want to continue doing all the other things that we talked about, you know, the likes, the shares, the comments, etc. And if you've been doing that for a while, you'll have a group of people who are primed to like and comment on your content because you've been doing the same for them. You know, sometimes people are reluctant to share other people's stuff, but I have to tell you that for the most part, almost entirely, people appreciate you sharing what they've had to say with their network, as long as you don't try and take credit for it yourself. But if you just hit the share button, that's fine. Okay. It is very much appreciated. Okay. Now the last step that we're going to talk about today, and then I've got some more for you, get a little bit outside of your comfort zone. How do you do that? Okay. Now I'm going to kind of take you out of sitting behind your desk all by yourself a little bit 
And I'm going to suggest that you maybe appear as a guest on a podcast, or I know the APA has APTV, things of that nature. I know I'm always looking for guests for the podcast. I know Jamie Radford from the APA, the Accounts Payable Association, is looking for guests. So if you have an idea about something that you could talk about, you know, just send me an email, send them an email. It could just be simple, a problem that you had, a tip that you have for the audience, a way that you found something that could be done easier. It doesn't have to be something that you can talk about for an hour. It can actually be, you know, a 10 minute talk or a five minute talk. If you've seen the AP Now podcast channel on YouTube, you know, we have a lot of four and five minute little episodes there. Now, if you want to appear, but you don't know what to talk about, I have to tell you that I like to say that my magic ingredient or my special ingredient is that I can find a story in just about everyone. And if I talk to you for a few minutes, I'll be able to figure out what your story is, what your special issue or tip that you have to share with the audience. So drop me a line and, you know, let's get talking. Now, after you're comfortable at this level, you might want to consider speaking at a live event. <gasps> Don't go, uh, maybe yes. Now, I've got some hints for you on that issue. One way to make it less stressful is to do it with another professional or be part of a panel discussion. So if you have a colleague who you're very good friends with, you might want to do it together. And I can tell you, most of the talks that I do, I do by myself, but I've done several with other people and I've done obviously panel discussions. And at least for me and for most people, doing it with someone else makes it a little less stressful. The other is to be smart and strategic about the topic you address and how you position it. We recently did a video on that and you can watch it right now using the link that will appear momentarily on YouTube and is in the show notes below. As always, we greatly appreciate your thumbs up, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Happy networking.